Our quick tip today is marinating ribs. I promise you this will be your new favorite way to marinate ribs, to get them ready for the grill, or to get them ready for the oven, however you want to do it. It's very simple. I have about a little over two pounds of baby back ribs, our Creole Soul seasoning, and your favorite vinegar, whether it's apple cider, regular white distilled vinegar, balsamic vinegar, whatever your favorite is. This is gonna be very simple and easy. If you're gonna put on a charcoal grill, I would use your favorite oil also, but that is not gonna be needed today. We're expecting thunderstorms this afternoon, so I'm gonna throw mine in the oven. So, quickly, all you need is your favorite vinegar. This is apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna use that today. You're gonna pour just enough that you're gonna be able to make a nice coating with the seasoning. This is the original blend of the seasoning. Creole Soul Original Blend. You could also use the spicy blend if you want to, or a little bit of both. And you're just going to sprinkle this on. And don't be afraid of the seasoning. You're not gonna overdo it. Because you want it to be coated really well. Give it a nice coating. Don't be afraid. The more the merrier with this because the seasoning is low in sodium. So you're gonna get loads of flavor, but not tons of salt. But you are gonna have some salt in there but you're not gonna overdo it. You're like, oh no, this is too much. It is not too much. This is perfect. Okay, let's turn it over. And we're gonna do the same thing. Put a nice coating on the back. I've already taken the membrane off, which is optional. You don't have to do that. But if that's something you like to do, that's great. Just gonna get it coated. Coat it again. Remember, don't be afraid, it's gonna be fine. It's just gonna make a nice coating, a nice paste with your vinegar and your oil if you're gonna put it on a charcoal grill. If you're gonna put it on a gas grill, I would not do the oil only because you run the chance of catching fire. I've done it plenty of times and it's not fun catching a grill on fire. So I would just maybe steer away from putting oil on if you're going to use a gas grill. So we've got both sides covered with our simple apple cider vinegar, whichever vinegar is your favorite, your Creole Soul seasoning, and the option of using oil. Only use oil if you're going to use a charcoal grill or smoker. Do not use the oil if you're going to use a gas grill. You run the risk of catching on fire, and that is no fun. So we've got both sides nicely coated. Simple. Creole Soul seasoning. Vinegar. Oil is optional. And that is how you marinate with Creole Soul seasoning. Very simple, very easy. You can let this sit overnight. You can let this go for about 10 to 15 minutes and go ahead and cook with it. It's that easy, that simple, it's gonna be full of flavor. If you want, you can put more on here because don't be afraid of the seasoning. Put more flavor on, it's gonna be great. Okay, so now you're ready to cover. You can let this sit or you can go ahead and put it on the grill. Whichever you wanna do, let it sit overnight. Um, let it marinate in the refrigerator for however long you need it to. If you're prepping other things for the grill you're prepping other things for the cookout for whatever you're doing and uh, you're ready to go okay so I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna actually stick it in the oven okay we've been in the oven for five hours now at 250 degrees so let's see where we're at okay Absolutely falling off the bone. Completely falling off the bone. 
So now's the time to turn the oven up to about 350, 400. You can sauce it if you want to. If not, you can eat it just like this. The great thing about Creole Soul Seasoning is when it comes to marinating, cooking, but especially since we're talking about marinating for grilling or barbecuing today, you do not need barbecue sauce with Creole Soul. Now, there's so much flavor in the seasoning, you, necess you don't necessarily need to put any sauce on it. I am gonna sauce these. I'm going to heat the oven to 400 and sauce them and let them brown up. Here we are hot out the oven. Don't be afraid to use your Creole Soul seasoning for marinating. It, that's what it was originally created for. It just turned out to be great for so many other things. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I've inspired you to marinate with Creole Soul seasoning.